Okay. Don't know. This game. A little bit of it. Like I was gonna do today. There's a story mode. Pretty sure there's a story mode. Yep, there is. Uh, I'll just choose this. Just choose normal. Apparently, I already had one. That's weird. I don't think I even ever played this before. I don't know. Okay, gotta set up a name. Caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You 
look real good out there. We're really pressed. This can be showed. Nah, this is showed as a category. Th uh, I don't know if this can be showed. We'll see. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years. Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid. So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. Well, you tell me. You know what both of these guys bring to the table. You see them in front of you. This fight's gonna go the distance? No, I think it's kind of like walking outside your house and you see those dark storm clouds. You know it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Bishop's turning into a star in this sport. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see what should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight, can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? He's committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his... Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one thing he's got to do is stay away from that right hand. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Andre Bishop. Another flush shot to the head. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. End of round one. This round, Andre, keep it up. Keep those hands busy. All right, they look great. Just don't get crazy in there. No need for that. Box smart. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches, that will throw them away. Okay, okay, that's what I like to see. You're out pointing him. I want to see those hands. You want this fight? Listen, you want this fight? You got to stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Andre Bishop's legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question. In the last round, he was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good shit all the time. 
being able to shake off a good blow. But this is part of having a good chin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. If things stay this way, Andre Bishop is going to coast into victory. He has a considerable lead against Joel Savone. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Accuracy now with that double jab up top. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Scores up top with a left. That's what I see in there. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. A clean, big hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Savone's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Fine-looking combination. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. He will know what to do. Next round, I want to see the one-two. Jab, then right, okay? It's coming together. You're starting to find your range. When he misses with a punch, count. It's okay, it's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy is going to win. Start of a new round. Bishop's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. I really like what Andre Bishop is doing here. He's scoring well against the veteran Savone. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good block. Fires right back at him. Bishop's resorting to dirty tactics. Circle, that was a headbutt, circle. and the referee should be giving him a warning. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. See with that uppercut. Nice two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop can really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. Andre Bishop's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get these things done the way he came here to get it done. Savone's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Little head hunting with the left. Andre Bishop's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. 
you watch this kind of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will drill. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He got blocked. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. What guts by Andre Bishop. We've seen it throughout his career we've been following, but he wants to fight on here. There were so many doubters of Andre Bishop coming into this fight, but right now he's silencing them as he is leading the way against Joel Savone. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Joel Savone's left working well that time. They trade shots. He comes back with a right. Is there a way I can control it? Controls. Okay. And Savone's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Let's see if Bishop can survive this. He just took a big shot. I think he can survive it. Why? Because he has all that amateur experience. He's been in this position before. They should have started to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination. He is not in good shape. There it is. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? I'm up. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Savone's so done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. I say it all the time. You never know what you're going to get in this sport. We never thought this fight would go the distance. No, early on, it looked like Frazier and Ali. I mean, the thrill in Manila. Who thought we'd wind up with a little ballet down the stretch? Right one. What does that mean? Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Randy. Hey, big baby bishop. I'm a fighter, too, and one day I'm going to be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point, regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Punch the opponent until he run out of stamina. Just keep up the cutting this. Keep those elbows in. You want to win in that ring? Work harder. Head movement. Head movement. Faster. Faster. 
I want to see some speed. Keep that chin down. Pick up the pace. Keep it up. Keep that chin down. I want to see you punch harder, faster. Stick and move. Stick and move. Let's go. Work it. Work it. Focus on your punches, kid. Ah, oh, come on, kid. I know you. Let's go. Work it. Work it. Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me. Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who Dad. You've been listening to this stupid old man? Dad. You don't know who you f I apologize. <laughs> he looks like Kingpin. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you were good, egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Meg. She's right about Paul. She's a smart girl, that Meg. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight, and a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against the we KG the veteran, the room. Lucius Palmer, we'll from here fight. at the Aragon Touch Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Remember 
So round one is underway, Andre Bishop against Lucius Palmer. So many times we talk about the nerves that somebody making their pro debut can be having. Don't expect that out of Andre Bishop, not with his amateur pedigree. Palmer's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How can it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. And if you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing that it is set up is all the punches. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Teddy, through the history of the sport, this is one of the matchups that has produced some of the more interesting fights, especially in the lower weight classes, speed versus speed. Who's going to be the guy that uses speed better? Who's going to be able to time shots and control range? That's what I'm looking at. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's a well-placed hook by Palmer. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, and they decide to trade there. We heard from Lucius Palmer's corner saying that they wanted him to concentrate a bit more on defense. That was a good block there. What a hook by Andre Bishop. Palmer's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Hits him in the mug with the right. hook to the head so much anticipation for the pro debut of the young american andre bishop here tonight facing lucius palmer through one round teddy has anything revealed itself his hand speed he's very fast in there i think he has to settle down a little bit though as the rounds go on smart move by lucius palmer they're able to block that punch carissi's known for really pushing andre bishop very hard during training camp but right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Carries that punch intended for the head. Palmer's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy... He takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Great work offensively landing that combination by Palmer. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Nice solid left hand scored by Andre Bishop. A flush hook scores well for him. Big shot there. Blistering combination. The speed of those pulls just put him down. They got there quicker than his hands got back to cover. That's a dumb plan. Bishop's rising back up. That takes some guts. The Good other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. And the round comes to an end. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Lucius Palmer now. You know, Palmer has been working on his defense, and there he blocked that punch. Really frustrating his opponent now. Palmer's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Comes across with a hook up top. And there 
there's the left hand working well for him again. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Relax, relax. Up top with the right hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. <laughs> Took a shot. Now he gives a left. <laughs> That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Palmer. Bishop's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe. And there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Lucius Palmer. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I won't knock him out. Hand. Oh my god. Give me a chance. This will determine it. One last round for Andre Bishop to push himself to victory. Scores with the combo to the head. He is stunned, and yet another big shot comes in. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got callous here. Palmer's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Focus! Grabbing on to his opponent. And here he goes again with the clinching. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. Andre Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. Timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. Come on. He has found his groove with this right hand. Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Up top with a quick hook. That is a big shot. Andre Bishop is on shaky legs. Well, you know what's going to hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter, such an offensive minor fighter. He doesn't know how to tie up. You know, Bishop has to be careful at the end of these rounds here as Palmer once again is looking to steal the round. And on the final bell, just oh. listen to that crowd. I don't think they even care to hear of the judges' scorecards oh, right now. Win. They just love what they saw. No, this is a win-win for everyone. It's a win-win pause for our audience and for the business. This is good for boxing, this kind of fight. The scores are in, so let's send it up to the ring and hear which. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. He did. the opening bell round number one scheduled for four this one is expected to be a thriller that's a good job by bishop offensively landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight blocks away that headshot <sighs> teddy i find it unrealistic that this guy's got much of a chance against this power puncher hey that doesn't make you notre dame is there joe Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. 
That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. A headshot blocked. Palmer's got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Well, obviously, what his opponent has done here is the reason that cut is in the shape that it's in. So if you're him, just keep doing what you're doing? Yes and no, Joe. Of course, it's easy to say, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. But what if there's a little change? Your opponent's cut, now he's going to move his head, you figure, a little bit to survive in there. Now you shouldn't go head hunting, even though that cut's there. Now you have to adjust to what's in front of you. Go downstairs to the body a little bit, then go back up to that head. Don't let that red flag, so to speak, get you to go crazy and forget the body. Palmer's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Blocks the headshot. Palmer's the target of a hook. Keep your hands up. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Lucius Palmer. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Combo lands to the head. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. That was an interesting first round for Andre Bishop, the American making his pro debut here. Teddy, Lucius Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of a round. Kind of like Ray Leonard did against Marvin Hagler. Has to be careful for that. Fine looking right hand by Andre Bishop. Palmer's completely missing the jab, and when that's not there, oh, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying, I wanna go swimming. Guess what, there's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Halfway through round number two. Keep moving, keep moving. And he ties up on the inside. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. Come on, kids. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Scores big with the hook to the head. Here we go again as Lucius Palmer tries to steal this round against Andre Bishop. Zones in on that overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And this round comes to an end. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Protecting his head well with his guard. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Able to counter that attack. Body shot, body shot. Jump on. Nice. Keep moving, keep moving. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Back and forth exchange. Good job protecting himself. He's tired. He's A well placed tired. overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. 
Andre Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Nice work. Nice work. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Here we are in the later stages of this fight, and he still has a hop in his step. So this is his territory. This is a guy that has good endurance. This is a guy who's a slow starter, comes on late. He's feeling good. He is. Wow. Perfectly executed combination. Hover's down. He's going to have to He's beat probably going to still get up. I win. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. You just look at Andre Bishop's opponent, and you can almost see it in his face that he feels he has no chance. Bishop has dominated all night long as we're here in this final round. Now it's up to Bishop. He's got one more decision to make. Does he want to just go out on the stage and take his bows afterward, or does he want to bring Keep the curtain down? Say. Does he want to go after him? Another flush shot lands upstairs. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Nice we heard nice from work. Lucius Palmer's corner saying that they wanted him to concentrate a bit more on defense. That was a good block there. Palmer's giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now just so much more defense we're seeing. Oh, Andre Love Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. Get up, get up. I need to knock him out. I need to knock him out. Punch him right in the forehead. Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. Doubles up the jab. He got hit. Oh, and there you go. We've been watching this oh. roller coaster ride of the career of Andre Bishop for so long. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Can he rise up? That's my fault, man. Oh, get up. I'm, oh, oh my god. Let's see if this Andre game. Bishop gets He's after his opponent in a week I, I only right got here. He doesn't look clear headed. I think Andre's gonna get right after him. Nice strike after what the fuck? Powers, power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. That's a tough one to swallow right there for any fighter, for any corner, to see your man out there winning a fight. And he ends. Good evening. <laughs> when you get a fight like this that everybody's yeah, been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Bishop's trying now to resort to dirty tactics. That was a low blow. Well, it is what it is, what we have in front of us. What is this, one of those where you warn our viewers, don't go get a sandwich? Oh, just don't go to the refrigerator, if anything. You're not going to have time to get back. And now he's on the record of saying, I saw that one. That's a warning for the low blow. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And he's holding. <laughs> Matchup tonight, power puncher against a guy who's well conditioned. Now, early on, what do you look for in a matchup like that? You want to make sure that if you're with the power puncher, you don't go out there chasing after the guy. You use all your tools. You use your jab and you control him. You make him think about your power so he's not controlling around. Blocked by Palmer. Palmer's left landing well. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Solid jab by Palmer. 
Palmer's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Well, as if it's right on cue, Lucius Palmer here at the end of the round, flurrying against Andre Bishop. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. So the first round of Andre Bishop's pro career is in the books, facing Lucius Palmer here. Teddy, after what we just saw, what can we expect? Well, we can expect that he's going to try to grab the last parts of the round. You saw that right there. You know, he'll fight three quarters of the <clears> round <throat> in one pace, and then all of a sudden flurry a little bit, flash a little bit at the end, try to grab the eyes of the judges. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Palmer. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Oh, my God. I looked at... All right, I'm looking one more time. Not much action as he just ties up. Bishop's going Stop. below the belt has That's finally cost him a point. Uh, the ref is documenting. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Keep your head moving. Well, he ties up there. Halfway through this round. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like Lucius Palmer's in bad shape. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. He is stunned there, and now he ties up. He ties up, and he was allowed to tie up, and that's what he's going to be sorry for, the other guy, that he allowed himself to get grabbed. Look at that. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Palmer's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. I suppose if you're his opponent, you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going after it. That cut is there for a reason. Why change anything? If you're the guy who caused a cut, yeah, the first thing you think, Joe, is you keep going after it, but you don't want to get carried away either. You don't want to go headhunting to the point where maybe he makes an adjustment and you should be going downstairs to the body, but you're seeing that, that blood, you're seeing that red flag there, and you keep going upstairs when maybe you should be going downstairs visiting that body a little. Palmer's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. Combination to the head. He 
clinches when he gets to the inside. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Fires off that hook. Bishop's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Final round here of what has been a night where Andre Bishop has been in total command of his opponent. You just don't want to slip on a banana peel now, or on a right hand. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Bishop's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Bishop's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Time is of the essence now. We've reached the halfway point of this final round. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And now looking to hang on. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Palmer's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Solid. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? How does it get better than that to start your pro debut? Andre Bishop knocks out Lucius Palmer. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. I don't believe in building a record fight for nobody. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something I'm great. I'm doing it. What the fuck? Be someone great. And I'm going to help you get there. You're going to take oh some God. fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Gun. Atlas with you ringside here at the State all Palace time. Theater. In Let's New have a Orleans, good, clean fight. Mike Touch Walker is lined up for Andre Bishop in Bishop's second fight of his pro career. Of course, he won in his pro debut against Lucius Palmer, now trying to make it two in a row. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. 
Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can a well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting him? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him angles. Goes up top with the right hand. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Walker's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up. But it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get over anxious, like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now, that was south of the border, and the ref gives him the warning. Walker's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Mike Walker. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Let's give a very honest assessment as to where Andre Bishop is in his career right now. Facing a guy like he is tonight, Mike Walker, he should annihilate him. Yeah, he should, but it's not just about that. It's how he does it. He should go through him, but you want to see him go through him in an effective, efficient way, where he looks like a future champion. There's that overhand right. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Walker's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work oh, like that, my there. friend. He's going to get confidence now, and he's going to take advantage of this. Andre Bishop scoring with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. He's got a good. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, a wicked left hand floors him. Two, three, four, five. Six. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. A well-timed right hand by Andre Bishop. Mike Walker's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. And we come to the end of round number two. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Walker's nose is now starting to bleed. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. This is becoming like a crime scene here. Walker's DNA is splattered throughout that ring. And you know it's gonna influence the fight. Not only where maybe he gets a little discouraged, he gets a little down, but Maybe his opponent, and this is a big maybe, maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Good combination to the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Walker's basically giving you the impression that he's a... How about that left right there? Did you see that? And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
That was easier than the last one. You can hit a lot of punches in the last. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. At 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has ours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. Conscious of the fact that this is a golden opportunity in front of him. He knows he's a clear-cut underdog. He also knows what a win will do. A win will get him a step closer to what he's dreamed about since he was a little kid first putting those gloves on. The big paydays, maybe the nice house. Gets rid of that effort. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Rosario's got to deal with a cut cheek. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Rushing uppercut by Rosario. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, we just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of them. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. Rosario's now getting back up off the canvas. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. That right hand over the top lands flush. Lance flushed with a big shot. Once again, he goes down. Oh my god. Just demolish them. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? I'm not gonna use any of this game at all. I'm just gonna use left and right hook. That's it. One of the best-looking middleweight prospects in some time now takes a challenge in Atlantic City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Andre Bishop now 3-0, taking on the heavy-handed Keyshawn Hayes.
went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. He needs more of that. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is the key to victory tonight. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage yeah misdirection you know the guy is going to be real keen both guys because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them so start one hand he's going to be looking he's going to react start the right hand just a little flinch to the right hand throw the left hand instead misdirection accurate hook by andre bishop Solid left hand to the head. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Bishop's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. A well-targeted hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Brings the left hand upstairs. That's a hook right to the flank. Able to dismiss it. Hayes is just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. That's a big right hand there. There was a moment in that last round that Andre Bishop would like to have back. Trainer Gus Parisi is reminding him of it. Yeah, well, he never saw the punch. He was throwing a jab, and he got time with the perfect right hand. It's the job. It's the eyes of Gus now that he has to depend on. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled. With... Hayes has been hurt by that shot. On the mark with it. And bang, and away he goes. Wow, crushing blow upstairs. One, two, three, four. Hayes is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Good step back down. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Overhand right can be so effective. Targeting upstairs. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Hayes is absorbing a hook. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. with a combination up top. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Bishop's hit by a counter punch there. It's all right, keep moving. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Oh, a good right hand by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's fighting a completely different fight right now. He went down earlier, and you can see that he's just throwing that strategy, that original game plan, right in the garbage. Well, it's showing you that he's a thinking man's fighter. He had to make it. Oh, and 
What a big shot. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? So now the question becomes, after that up. knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right oh. now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. Uh, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you got to wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business. Oh! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. So Andre Bishop comes to Atlantic City and hits the jackpot. A knockout win against Keyshawn Hayes. Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop right, is a hot Protect rising prospect. All time. Will Bishop shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now have prepared him for this moment. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Let's move! And he returns on that exchange. Locks it away. Very accurate with the overhand right. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Flush right hand to the head. Well landed that hook by Andre Bishop. Nice work with the overhand right. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, 
He said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. The combo lands upstairs. Returns a big, big shot comes crashing home. Is this the end for Andre Bishop now? He has some questions to answer after being floored by that power punch. Bishop's gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's gotta do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Well, he's got the attitude, something's gotta stick. He fires off the combination and they both do. He doesn't look good, but yet he's throwing rather than clinching. And this Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Andre Bishop's opponent is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. It's good to throw punches. It's better to make them effective and have them land, such is the case with Andre Bishop as he's missing badly now. Nice defensive guard there. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good job staying away from the danger there. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Bishop's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Big right hand. Oh, this motherfucker just couldn't. Oh my God. able to get back on his feet but will he be steady on those feet i think he will and believe it or not i think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless big shot there that was a big shot that floored him and it's a big shot that may end him right i'm gonna focus on this tomorrow I'm controlling these charge anyway.